was able to come to steal, to raid. Now you need to understand the wall is speaking about your body. It's speaking about your life. Now if you've got cracks in your soul, if you've got cracks in your spirit, if you've got cracks in your body, the enemy has legal access. He can come in and he can come to steal, to kill and destroy. I don't know what you've got a crack in. Maybe you've got a fence. Maybe you don't like my hairstyle. Maybe you don't like the way I preach. Maybe you're offended. There is already an area the enemy can come in to steal kill and destroy because there is a crack in your wall which should be protecting you if you understand that we as ministers are yet to love you and to guide you into the things of God not to steal from you we are yet to bless you that's our intention amen so now if you've got certain things in your life where the enemy now can come in to steal, to kill and destroy, he will continue to steal. And this is why you find certain people cannot advance. Because there's certain things you need to do. Because if you want to grow, and we say this in this church time and time again. Word, pray. Word, pray. Word, pray. That's where the power is. That's where you grow. You see, if you know God has called you into a certain office, you need to pray into that office. You can't just say, okay, God's called you to be a pastor tomorrow. I get uh, business cards and I decide now I'm going to start a church. No, you've got to pray it in. You need to pray it in. Amen. Okay, if you don't want to, if you, if you want to advance in life, I promise you the key is pray. See, most people are weak because of prayerlessness. You see, the enemy does not want you to pray because if you are praying, you are charged up. When you are prayed, you are filled with the presence and the power of God. You are confident. You are full of God. Not full of yourself. Not full of nonsense. You are full of the Spirit of God. So when you begin to pray, something on the inside is charged. You have an energy. There is energy. They speak about that there was an energy that was coming off of the body of Jesus. Okay, now you say, no, but Jesus is Jesus. Okay, Peter. His shadow healed. Epikahizo means the presence was on him that they laid people hoping that his shadow would touch them. Can you imagine that type of prayer line? When we say, can you come?